C200 rear axle. This also applies to the M226 rear axle on the off-road and Pro 4X Frontier Xterra and those of you with the first gen Titans. This diff breather we're talking about is right here. That little nub, that's the diff breather. This is what we're looking to upgrade. You may ask, why would you want to upgrade this? Well, here's the fact that this top of the axle is about 14 and a half inches off the ground. So for all of you who do off-roading, whether you're bombing the mud pit or crossing those streams, you're gonna get sediment, water, mud, all that jazz. It's gonna go right inside that breather. So what we wanna do is we want to remove that crusty old breather. We want to install a barb so we can put a hose on it and then you can route the end of the hose wherever you'd like. A 14 millimeter socket or do just fine to remove this. The threaded barb that we're going to install, I have the part number listed below. What we're gonna to wanna to do is add pipe dope or RTV or Teflon tape to the threads to ensure that this is a watertight fit. This particular part number is going to use a 12 millimeter wrench to install. It's perfect. Next, you'll use some tubing. This particular tubing is 532nd inner diameter windshield washer hose slash vacuum tubing. We're simply going to pop it right over the barb all the way down. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of cable routing with some zip ties. We're going to just follow along this wheel speed sensor. Make sure you leave some slack in the hose, just like the wheel speed sensor has. The hose routing I chose to do, the hose goes up to the frame and it just simply follows the frame along the side to the very back, goes up under the bumper to the bottom of the tail light. If you wish to run your differential breather to the tail light, simply remove the two 10 millimeter screws right here. the routing of the tube and it so happens to fit perfectly inside where the wire clips are. I just looped it over, ends right there. That is eight foot of hose. Should I replace this if I don't plan on doing any off-roading? Uh, I would certainly recommend it, uh, especially if you lived in the rust belt or you have lots of travel on dirt roads or gravel roads. See a lot of corrosion, rust, dirt stuff could cake and fill this up, clog it, render this breather useless. This particular example, being a 2010, it lived over 70% of its life in the state of Arkansas, which is not in the rust belt. When I removed this, it dropped a bunch of crud and grit all over the driveway. You guys up at north, uh, or live out in rural areas, you might have a worse shape breather than this. So don't want this to get clogged. If that happens, then that built up heat pressure, it's gonna cause that oil to go somewhere and it's gonna go right through those axle seals, uh, which you definitely don't want that. So uh, at least check it out, see what the condition is. You can always just replace with a normal breather just like this, just go pick one up at the dealership um, or you can go the barb and hose route. It's up to you, but just take a look at that. 
see what you're working with. And if you plan on off-roading, definitely go with the hose and the barb method that I've shown you.